Levetiracetam, commonly known by its trade name Keppra, is a drug used to treat generalized seizures. In this video, I'll share with you my visual mnemonic to help you remember all the information you need to know about Levetiracetam so you'll be ready for test day. Did you hear that? Ah! My brother is being abducted by aliens! Look at the way he's levitating up to the alien beam! You can use this levitation to help you remember that we are talking about the drug levetiracetam, because levitation and levetiracetam sound pretty similar, don't they? Now that we're anchored to the drug name, let's continue to learn more about this drug. There's an alien spaceship right outside my window. It landed softly on Earth thanks to its big anti-shake shocks that absorbed all the impact. Here at Pixarize, we use anti-shake shocks to symbolize anti-seizure medications, because both work to stop shaking, right? Levetiracetam is used to treat various types of seizures, including tonic-clonic, partial, and myoclonic seizures. Next, let's talk about potential side effects of taking levetiracetam. I'm freaking out over here, and somehow my brother is still fast asleep despite levitating right into the alien spaceship. Which reminds me, one major side effect of levetiracetam is drowsiness. You see, levetiracetam depresses the central nervous system to treat seizures, but this often leaves the patient feeling drowsy. These sedative effects usually go away after taking the drug for four to six weeks. To avoid excess sedation, patients taking levetiracetam should also avoid other CNS depressants, like alcohol or benzo drugs. No, don't go. I'm hanging on to my brother for dear life, but he's continuing to levitate away. In fact, I'm gripping so hard that my grip is leaving scratches on his skin as he floats up. Doesn't this scrape look a little like a rash? Use this rash-like scrape on my brother's skin to remind you that levetiracetam may cause a rash. In fact, this can evolve into Stevens-Johnson syndrome, a severe peeling drug rash that can be life-threatening if not treated immediately. It's important that the patient notifies their physician at the first signs of a rash. Now, just one more adverse effect before we wrap up. The alien abduction has made me an emotional mess. I'm crying, anxious, and I just don't think I can live without my brother. Just like my levitating brother has heightened my anxiety and depressed my mood, levetiracetam has been shown to cause some adverse mental health effects, which can include increased suicidal ideation. Have the patient report any changes in mood or anxiety, and it's a good idea to have the family also be looking out for these symptoms. All right, that's it for this mnemonic. Let's recap. Levetiracetam is a medication that treats seizures by depressing the central nervous system. This may cause drowsiness, which is an expected side effect that resolves after taking the drug for four to six weeks. A more severe side effect is a rash that can evolve into the life-threatening Stevens-Johnson syndrome, so any sign of a rash should be reported to the physician. Finally, levetiracetam has been shown to increase suicidal ideation, so keep a close eye on the patient's mood and anxiety levels. And now we're actually done with levetiracetam. See you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the more here arrow. I'll see you next time.